you know soil is like a kitchen for plants think about it just like we make food in our kitchens plants use raw materials in the soil to make their own food now what do we need to cook for in the kitchen raw materials like rice vegetables spices and salt right and once we are done using all that what do we do we head to the grocery store refill the supplies and we are good to go but what about plants what happens if the soil runs out of its nutrients and becomes an unhealthy soil just like us plants need a refill too that's where fertilizers and manures come into play they are like the grocery restock for plants giving the soil back the nutrients it need to stay healthy and fertile let's take a closer look at how fertilizers and manure help plants thrive healthy soil is like a well stocked kitchen it's rich in nutrients and vitamins but imagine this if we keep growing plants on the same land over and over again the soil starts to lose its nutrients quite natural right it's like emptying the kitchen without restocking it now can plants go to the grocery and restock it no that's where farmers step in and grab a fertilizer okay now what are fertilizers think of them as raw materials the plants need to make their food they are loaded with essential nutrients like nitrogen phosphorus and potassium commonly called npk where n stands for nitrogen p stands for phosphorus and k stands for potassium you get fertilizers in all forms you might have heard or you see in the market some names like urea ammonium phosphate superphosphate and potassium chloride these are some of the names of the fertilizers that are available in the market you're not going in detail to what is the content or how they are going to act exactly in the soil but remember this they provide the nutrients nitrogen phosphorus and potassium using fertilizer is bit like an energy booster to the soil the right amount works wonders turning the soil into a power house of nutrient that's exactly what we want but here is the thing too much of fertilizer is in great overusing fertilizers is just like eating too much junk food it may feel good in the beginning but over time it's going to weaken the plants and harm the soil and water around them that's why when adding fertilizer to the soil balance is so important when farmers use the right amount of fertilizers they kind of hit the sweet spot giving the plants everything they need to thrive without causing any problem to the environment and the plants let's dive into manure and humus they are super important for healthy soil manure is like nature's way of recycling it's made from decomposed plant and animal waste you might have seen a pit at home or a farm or at farmhouse like the one you see here where all the vegetable scraps animal waste leaves other organic waste are dumped and that's the starting point of manure farmers create manure by piling up this waste in a pit and letting it decompose over time now you may ask what do you mean by decompose over time decompose over time means that microorganisms the tiny little helpers in the soil break down all this waste turning it into a nutrient rich soil how cool is that manure does some amazing things for the soil it adds humus to the soil we'll talk about humus in just a moment yeah it helps the soil hold more water which means plants have water available whenever they need it makes the soil nice and loose which means roots can easily spread out and grow stronger it boost the number of helpful microorganisms in the soil these tiny organisms are super important because they make it easier for plants to grow and thrive manure is like a natural power up for the soil making it healthier and better for the plants next we'll talk about humus the ultimate soil booster yes let's talk about humus i like to call it super soil as you see in this picture humus forms the top layer of the soil it's that uh, dark squishy stuff created when manure or plants and animals break down completely you can think of humus as the final stage of manure the ultimate upgrade to soil health is what i would say here is why humus is very important it is a paradise for creatures like earthworms and microorganisms these little tiny helpers keep the soil in top shape and super fertile it makes the soil crumbly which is perfect for the roots to spread out and grow it holds on to water keeping plants hydrated for a long period 
it is packed with nutrients that plants need to grow strong and healthy. Now, you might have noticed that humus and manure sound pretty similar. And you are right, manure is about 90% humus. Think of humus as a secret ingredient that makes soil a powerhouse for the plants to thrive. It's like a soil's hidden magic helping everything grow better, faster and healthier. So next time you see rich, dark soil, remember, you are looking at humus, the superfood of plants. Alright, here is something really interesting. Fertilizers are chemicals made in factories, right? While manures are natural and organic. So we often say manure is more environmental friendly. But guess what? There is something even more sustainable than fertilizers and manures. Yes, it's called crop rotation. Now, what do you mean by crop rotation? Let me show you with an example. Imagine a farm where farmers grow green peas in one season and cabbage in the next. Why would they do this? Here is the science behind it. Pulses like green peas have a special type of bacterium called rhizobium living in the roots. These bacteria take nitrogen from the air and deposit it back into the soil giving it a natural nutrient boost. Yes, you heard me right. There is a bacteria living in the roots of a green peas which takes nitrogen from the air and deposit to the soil. So when the green peas is harvested and removed, the soil is already rich in nitrogen thanks to the rhizobium bacteria. Then the farmer plants cabbage. Since the soil is already nutrient rich, there is no need to add fertilizer or manure. This process where previous crop, in this case green peas, enrich the soil for the next one, that is cabbage, is called crop rotation. And once the garbage is harvested, again green peas is cultivated and the green peas further gives way for cabbage and this rotation cycle continues. It's a brilliant sustainable way to keep the soil healthy and productive without relying on external inputs. Alright, so let's summarize the key difference between fertilizers and manures. Like what are fertilizers made of? Fertilizers are man-made chemicals produced in factories, while manures are natural materials made from decomposed animal and plant waste. Fertilizers do not add humus to the soil, but whereas manure adds a lot of humus to the soil improving soil health. Fertilizers are high in specific nutrients like NPK, remember, nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium, whereas manure contains nutrients too but in smaller quantities compared to the fertilizers. Both fertilizers and manures play important role in farming. Fertilizers provide a quick natural boost while manures work long term to improve soil health and structure. The best farming practice is all about finding the right balance between the two.